Hello Leia users and welcome to the second Leia video tutorial. In the first video we created this super simple generic basic consulting website and we got into the basic features of the editor and one of those features was this redesign site button so when we clicked that we were presented with this alert and we clicked just redo it and I mentioned that we would have a video specifically on using this get specific button and so that's going to be this video. So if you click on get specific this form will pop out from the right hand side of the screen and there are quite a few things that you can do with this form. So essentially what happens when you hit that just redo it button is that Leia will uh, check off yes and yes for both of these things and then based on what you have done before check off certain parts of these drop downs um, to try to give you the best design possible so these probably won't be used when you're trying to get specific about the design because it's basically just redoing the whole thing for you right below that though you have the font family so this is the font family for the entire page anytime you see match to style that means let Leia choose essentially and if you click on the button to the right of it you'll be able to choose something specific that you want Leia to use instead of the style that Leia would have chosen for you so in the case of the font you can do two things you can choose a font from this list and it's pretty basic there aren't too many fonts here and the reason for that is that these fonts need to be able to work for every single browser and every single device otherwise the device that you're rendering your website on will replace that font with something different and it might not look the way that you had intended for it to look uh, so this is a list of all fonts that will work for all types of browsers if however you have a custom font name in mind you can enter it in here and what you'll need to do is then use this font link section down here click use specific font link and then provide a link to that font wherever it's stored so I'll show you exactly how that would work if we go to Google fonts okay we have a lot of different fonts that we can choose from so let's say I scroll through and I really like mm, railway okay what I can do is click this plus button and you see one family selected if I click that it'll pull open a few things so the name of this font is railway so we're gonna click and drag to select railway and that's what we're gonna paste for the font name now in order to use railway we have to include the source to it which is in this link right here so instead of copying the whole code all we need to do is copy the link that it has inside here so copy that and paste it right here okay so now if I hit apply Leia will take the information that we have provided in this case just the font and apply it to the page so you'll notice that when it loads we're using the railway font as opposed to what Leia had chosen for us beforehand and again just like with the just redo it redesign we have this previous version button that we can click if we want to revert back to the original version that Leia had chosen for us okay pretty simple so I'm gonna open that redesign form back up once the page loads okay so these are all things that we can do for the general structure of the page there are a couple of things like the blog and the newsletter that are included in here as well simply because the only real customization that you can do for both of those two things is indicate whether or not you want it and where you want it if you do want it um, but over here on the left hand side of the screen you'll see a bunch of blue dots and so these indicate the settings for individual sections of your page so for instance here's the menu bar sections uh, excuse me options so you can check off different things that you would like to see in the menu bar whether you want the items to align on the left hand side whether you want all the items to be uppercase or lowercase or whatever Leia had chosen for you things like that below that we have the the main section that would be this header part right up here you can choose the number of background images you want if you want a background image 
if you wanted it to be a color instead, you could do that and then use a specific value and choose from this color wheel here what you want the background color of the main section to be. So I'll just show you what this looks like right now. I'm going to make it blue. You could enter a hex value if you know what that means and know of one that you would like to use. And then hit apply. And keep in mind that you can mix and match all of these things at once before you submit a rebuild, right? You don't have to do them one at a time like I'm doing now. Um, but as you can see, it replaced the background image that we had with just a blue color because that's what I had chosen. And again, if I wanted to go back, I'd hit previous version. So let's open that form back up again. And the one below that is about us. So there are different sections on your page, and I'll scroll down here so you can see them. Um, you have an about section in this case, we have a features section, a gallery, testimonials, a team, a blog, and a contact form. Uh, and then here's our newsletter down at the bottom. So you'll notice that in this form, we have buttons for each one of these sections, features, gallery, etc. If you wanted to completely eliminate the gallery, obviously like I showed you in the last video, you could use the red uh, trash can icon in the top right corner of the section to delete it or you can just click no here right and if you sub submit this form by hitting apply it'll get rid of the gallery but below that you have again a number of things that you can edit if you wanted to change the number of images in the gallery you could simply click this and then choose the number of images you want from the list this one goes pretty high so if you had a, you know a photography website and you wanted to include a lot of photos you could make a bigger number um, here you can edit things like the color, etc, etc. Uh, some sections will have a paragraph to the side of them, and let's see if anyone here does. So the gallery here, for example, it has a little paragraph to the side that we can use to explain some things. Um, if I wanted to get rid of that, I could, at the bottom here, check no next to has paragraph, and then apply and this is going to give us 20 images in our gallery and get rid of that paragraph. All right. Okay, so as you can see that paragraph is now gone and we have 20 images in here to choose from. Um, one of the the cool things that you can do or shortcuts actually that you can do to get to that rebuild form for a particular section is click this green settings icon in the top right corner of any section so you click here and that pulls up the settings for the team section so again I have very similar options I can choose the number of team members I have I can choose the width of the section I can choose whether or not I want a paragraph as you can see there was no paragraph so we had no checked off here by default and you can mix and match these things all you want and then always just hit apply and it will apply your changes and every single time you do that you'll create a new version of your website that you can access or revert back to at any point in time clicking this previous version button so that's pretty much it for this video just wanted to show you what the redesign site um, or the get specific part of the redesign site button was so next video we're gonna go over domain names right how to change them essentially what they are uh, and what your options are with them so thanks for tuning in for this video and hope you check out the next one